Good afternoon. This is Fun Foods and Family with Dexter Barron. A lot of you probably see me on face on YouTube or Facebook, and I'm the man behind the, behind the texts or messages or whatever. Okay, I'm making my queso dip for the Super Bowl, and I've made it before. But I'm trying to do a little spin on it, making it a little, a little bit spicier. Uh, this is how we throw down. So we about to get buckles. Buckles mean get wild. So we about to get buckles. Uh oh. This is regular breakfast sausage. Uh, you can use hamburger, you can use ground turkey, uh, the list goes on. You can use uh, ground steak, chopped steak, sirloin, the sky's the limit when it comes to queso dip. Uh, I'm browning the meat now, trying to get it ready, trying to get it done. Break it up as it cooks, so it'll be in small pieces and, you know, you can put your tortilla chip in there, don't worry about breaking it. And as you can see, I had surgery a while back, probably about uh, eight or nine months ago, but I don't let that hold me back. I know what I got to do, and I do it. You know, for those that are you know, disabled and figure they can't do anything, there's always a way through God that you can do what you want to do and what needs to be done. This that uh that ground pork sausage like the Jimmy Dean or you could even get it at your grocery store in it in its own brand like Publix or Winn Dixie or Kroger's or y'all favorite Sam's. Okay, the guy, I wouldn't say guy, the young man doing the recording is John Smith, aka Johnny's World. Uh, you can go to his website and subscribe. Uh, you can even leave a comment. He has his vlog, vlog victorials. They're real heartwarming and nice. and Some of them are funny. You know, he's just a young man in high school being a young man. And shouts out to my sister, Melissa Smith. Uh, she's been going through it in the hospital. She had surgery today. And all we're doing is praying for a speedy recovery. So shouts out to Melissa. And that's Johnny's mother, and we are praying for her to come back home and be in a positive situation and progress in her healing. So who are you guys going for in the Super Bowl? I'm going for Kansas City. I'm going for my homes. Is anybody going for the 49ers? I know Trey from Trey and Nene, he's a 49ers fan. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm going for my homes. Uh, Lil Mogil, he's going for my homes. Uh, I'm quite sure my homeboy Snoop 48, uh, 408, Snoop eats 408. I'm quite sure he's going for San Francisco since he's from the Bay. Uh, 
RDR, I'm gonna give you a shout out, bro, cause you're the first person who gave me one when I didn't even have a face. So RDR, Snoop Eats 408, Lil Mo Gill, Tam's Table, uh, Nicole, of course, Flavor Eats, Nini, Fifi, Hey Felicia, and countless others that show me love. Oh, uh, Tasha and Steph gave me a shout out for telling them about a restaurant in California where they did the Jamaican mukbang. That was me. Okay, the meat is coming along nicely. So when you get the meat cooked, there's not a lot of fat in this meat, but we're gonna drain it. Okay. So, uh, what are you guys having for the Super Bowl? I know a lot of people are cooking out. A lot of people are ordering from the platters, the sandwich platters, slider platters, fruit platters. I know a lot of people are doing, you know, their own thing during the Super Bowl weekend. Uh, I'm in Florida. I'm about an hour and a half away from Miami. Um, Southeast Florida, born and raised. Uh, so... You know, you guys that are in Miami at the game, be safe. Uh, like I said, I'm from Florida, so I've heard the stories. I've also been to Miami a few times, so just be safe and have fun. One more shout out. I forgot about Mrs. Squeak uh, down by Central Florida. And Casey Connection in Jayville, Jacksonville, that is. Uh, shout outs to those two ladies. We, we, we've corresponded many times. Like I said, they've never seen me, but I've seen them. And uh, we talk, they're real sweet and family. So it's not about the numbers I'm putting up or whatever. It's all about having fun, meeting new people, and enjoying what I do. And I love cooking. So. Alright, the meat is about done. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to drain the meat, so we're going to take a pause for the cause. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. Uh, I've got my queso dip. I've got my meat. I'm putting a little seasoning in there. I have my own special seasoning, but I have it in this container. It's my own special seasoning, but it's in the Louisiana fish fry products container. I told Lucy Lou about this. She was asking about a Cajun seasoning with no salt. Uh, this is it, uh, Lucy Lou. Lizzie Lou, I'm sorry, Lizzie Lou. Uh, this is the with salt, but they have the version without salt also. I want to give another shout out to Sent and Mo. Uh, they looked out for my nephew when he was just starting out, and his mother was in a real bad situation health wise. I want to specially thank Sent and Mo. Uh, Joanna Eats even gave him a shout out when I told him about her, his mother. I told her about his mother. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? There's a lot of you guys out there that, that, you know, gave me a hand, you know, emotionally and physically and mentally. And I want to thank all of you that did. Uh, let's get back to the kicking. Uh, Ooh, that looks so this good. is the queso dip, the sausage, a little of my Dexter's 
diabolically dysfunctional rub. This part sliding like a like an ice skater with no with no sight. Okay. Look good, don't it? Y'all know y'all want it. Like I say, it's only queso dip. A little seasoning. You got your breakfast sausage. And you got your tortilla, tortillas you can buy at the store. Uh, some of them might even buy one, get one free for the Super Bowl. So, you know, you can, you can even buy the little scoops, uh, the triangles. You can buy the blue corn tortillas. You can, the sky's the limit, like I told you. Uh, that's about it. So we're gonna we're gonna get it in. Okay. They let Johnny's world get a taste of this dip and let him tell me how what he thinks of it. Tell me how it is, bro, nephew. Okay, I know it was good. I ain't nothing I ever made was bad. So. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, that's it for now. We're going to uh, let it simmer for a little bit and bowl it up before the game starts. And it was a pleasure cooking for you guys. This is my first time. I hope it's not my last. And love you all. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Go Chiefs, even though I'm a Dolphins fan. Talk to you later. Bye.